do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos now students let us move to the next question number 10 students let us solve question number 10 it says that uh, two bodies of masses The question: The two bodies of masses 100 kg and 10,000 kg are at distance of one meter apart. So these are two bodies, one meter apart separation. 100 and 10,000 kilogram. This is the solution to this question. Which point on the line joining the two? The line. Uh, this is the line. Then the two. Which point? Suppose this is the point P, where uh, the gravitational field intensity is zero. That means the uh, force per unit mass is zero. So if a point mass of uh, m is whatever unit is placed here, suppose this is placed at a distance x from this hundred kg mass, where the Field is zero. Field is zero means that uh, net force is zero. This is the point where the net force is zero. So if this distance is x, then uh, the remaining distance will be one minus x. So now the force on this uh, this is the point where the I suppose the point mass is uh, any mass is placed. The uh, intensity is zero. Suppose this uh, point is having mass uh, small m. Small m, then uh, I will uh, write this as uh, on this particular point, uh, particle uh, uh, having point mass p. I have uh, this is the situation where uh, this mass of hundred kilogram, and uh, this is a thousand, ten thousand kilogram. Okay, this point is p where uh, I have this uh, zero, uh, net force zero. So this will. Uh, Exert the force attraction here, that is F1, and this will also exert the force attraction here F2. The net has to be zero. That means uh, F1 must balance F2. F if this is having mass m and this is having mass this and that, then uh, G m and hundred over x square because this distance I've taken x and this distance one minus x. So G m ten thousand divided by 1 minus x the whole square that's to balance so from here i will get the value of x uh, this one will cancel out 100 and uh, 20 cancels out and if i take the square on both sides in 1 over x it goes to 10 divided by 1 minus x cross multiply 10x is 1 minus x or 11x is 1 so from here i'll getting that x is 1 over 11 this is how you This is how you get the value x. This is a meter, so one over eight meter. That is the answer to this question. Okay, thank you.